Long elf in the house, bitches. Romance is a motherfucker, as they would say in the streets, Pinch apparently. The old nips. <laughs> That's the first sign that it's going to suck. Yeah. Romance, I mean. You're the Someone... one pinching your own nips. <laughs> Do it often. Do it now. But anyway, yeah, man. Romance can be a kick in the nuts. First to tell you that. I've experienced it many a time, as many people have. And uh, But I've noticed a pattern in my life, and that is that apparently, apparently, I have a thing with a chick's name, Jennifer. Okay? I don't know if anybody's noticed as I, you know, flail around, flail around on the man. daily, but uh, there's a tattoo on the back that says Jennifer here. They say never get a woman's name tattooed on you because it's doomed to fail. And apparently that's what fucking happened with me. Yep. So there you go. But here's the thing. That wasn't the first Jennifer. I have like a long line of Jennifers. That that is it, what is it like a like a like a fucking I don't know man like a time uh, encompassing time and space defying gravitational pull towards Jennifer's. I'm sure. I don't, I'm I don't sure get that's it. what it is. That's the, yeah. Stephen Hawking said so. Yeah. When I met him and he was like, running he over died. my foot. Yeah. <laughs> and it pushed him off his wheelchair, yeah. broke his neck. Look, they didn't tell you why he died, but uh... the guy was an asshole, man. He kept running over my damn hoof. Yeah. Yeah, man, but for some reason, uh, my most repeated name in my romantic life has been Jennifer. There's always been a Jennifer somewhere along the way, uh, stemming from uh, high school all the way to my last relationship. Jennifer's all peppered throughout. And uh, I'm going to point three uh, real specific ones real quick. And that the, 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 the first one I'm going to point out is this chick... That uh, I definitely, I want to say dropped the ball on because I was being really shallow. The reason I pursued her was because she looked like a busy Phillips. Put a picture of her up there. Now, I know what you're thinking. Once like you see, man. Yeah, once you see that picture, like, why would you pursue? Look, busy Phillips was on Dawson's Creek. It was a, it was a thing when I was a kid. Yeah, when you I, had a weird thing with Percy. Dude, I had a weird Dawson's Creek thing. You know this. Uh, you know, when when the seasons, when I bought the seasons, I was like, hell yeah, I'm going to recapture my youth. And I would, I would refuse to let you yeah, see I them. I never saw one episode. I would, just, that would be my thing. Like I would shut myself into you, a room and. Oh, you're leaving, you're leaving out a particular. Oh, I'm getting there. <laughs> I would go to Walmart in the middle of the night, buy Salisbury steaks. <laughs> <laughs> Salisbury steaks, come into my house, refuse to let you enter, and lock myself in for hours just... eating Salisbury steaks and watching Dawson's Creek. <laughs> Oh, weirdest thing. Yeah, I don't understand it, man. I don't know what the fuck. But anyway, anyway the point is, this chick looked like Busy Phillips, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to get debt, get debt. So that's why I hit on her, and I, and I pursued her. And, uh, you know, I had a, I had a gay friend back then, and uh, uh, he was a hairdresser, of course. <laughs> Just throwing yeah. that in there. The point is, I, I hit him up, and I said, not like that. I hit him up, and I said, hey, dude, you got to get me, uh, you know, uh, you got to chart this uh the vibes from her. Well, you know, would she be interested in that type of thing, right? So he asks and he lays a little gay groundwork for me. And he says, dude, just ask her. This is going gonna, gonna to be good. And I'm like, psh, psh, psh. once the gay guy tells you it's going to be okay, you're pretty much solid, you know? So I go in and, and I, 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 I just lay it on there, man. Probably the first time I just went straight up, balls out, you know, no groundwork at all except for what he laid down. The straight up, want to bang i didn't say that but i was like hey listen you know you me you know we go out and uh, you know we fuck you know mm. uh basically like that this is your know. italian phase it was, yeah. really weird. <laughs> it was it pinstripe suits and everything yeah. tommy gun you know it wasn't good but the point the only thing was the, the car was pretty good but that's about it but <laughs> yeah. the point is yeah man I, asked, I basically just asked her out and you know we didn't know each other we had never talked to each other nathan there was no reason for me to ask this person out and um, surprisingly, she was like, yeah, cool. And then afterwards, like directly afterwards, I was like, yeah, I don't know shit about this chick. <laughs> P.S. I knew, you know, she, she worked at the same place I did. You know from a distance kind of something about the person, right? Mm. Their likes or dislikes a little bit. Uh, not the personality, obviously, but so I knew that she wasn't even in the same scene that I was at. Mm. So I was like, not even close. Mm. So I was like, what the fuck am I? And already I'm deconstructing this in my head. Like, what the hell am I even going to talk to this chick about? Like, at all. 
And uh, I'm really, I'm kind of whipping myself because I'm being too superficial. So not even an hour afterwards, I go up to her and go, you know what, uh, go ahead and scratch that. Uh, let's not do the date thing uh, ever. Woo! And that was that. Woo! And she quit like two days later. Oh, man. <laughs> and I was like, oh, fuck. I mean, I don't blame her. It was pretty awkward. Yeah. You know? So somebody's going to me too me now. Yeah. But anyway, the point is that, that that's a, that's one Jennifer story. Uh, right after, I, I'm telling these three because they were almost right one right after the other. Um, you know, so the next one was I met this chick online. Already you should be like, oh, man, that's a bad omen. But she was local. I just met her online. And this chick to date is one of my best friends ever. You know, I've known her for over a decade now. And, uh, you know, she's, she's just super cool, man. They're just like this chick I could see myself marrying. The thing is, uh, I, it would be like not a love relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I, you can love someone, but not love someone. You know what I'm saying? But it, oddly enough, that could be like, all right, cool. I still marry you because you're awesome. I can't explain that other than to say that. The point is, I met this chick online. Uh, we hit it off like famously she wanted to like immediately like date thing is she was married to an ex-soldier oh i'm sorry he was still a soldier at the time yeah in fact they were stationed somehow uh, that's more woof. yeah stationed at a fort and uh that you know she wanted a date and i was like dude your divorce is not you know it's not settled yet so i was reticent because of that and uh you know, she, she was in the process of doing it and took her time. But during the time of her uh, getting that fixed, he became kind of violent towards her. So she ended up leaving for her uh, home nation, which was not America. She's Canadian. And now she's over there. And, uh, of course, you know, that's a whole nation away. But she's still like, yo, what's up, man? Anytime. Hit that you, up. You know what up. But, uh, a little yeah. dance. But like I said, you know, love. The, the time I think had passed, but uh, it was still one of those where like, I wonder to date, I wonder like what would have happened had I not been reluctant to do that? Mm -hmm. You know, it would have been a, certainly a very different story. And that's because the next one was my final relationship. And uh, I mean, I still love this girl will possibly to the end of my life. But the point is this relationship went from uh sweetheart status to fucking utter chaos in a matter of months long story short ended up behind bars yeah but so that's the thing it did it, it, dude look you know i mean shit it, it was it was it was weird dude i've never experienced i, I wouldn't even call it a roller coaster because everything was fine and dandy until that last you know what a handful of days all of a sudden fucking you know you know like you know uh, i don't know like uh let me let me think of an example here you know like harley quinn mm. you know like she's the doctor she's she's just a normal person uh but then around the right person aka the joker all of a sudden she's this other person imagine that only both ways all of a sudden something became mutual like we're just fucked up people now yeah and we're, boom! We're Harleys. Yeah, both of us. It's me, especially me. I was yeah, wearing the outfit. It wasn't good. It was gay as fuck. <laughs> but anyway, the point is, Jennifer seemed to be a theme in my life. So maybe the thing is, I should stay away from Jennifer's yeah. and aim more towards, I don't know, fucking Amanda's or some shit. Or, uh, so if your name's Amanda and you want to hit this up, you know what's up, baby? Tony's. <laughs> Tony Todd's trannies up yeah. in his house. Anyway, that's, a, that's a, just something I noticed, an observation about my weird ass... Uh, endeavors in love yeah you know or what, lack you know what all mine have in common mm. they're all guys <laughs> super and big also, dick guys and too. also not real <laughs> god aj styles yeah anyway tell us uh, some tales of your uh woeful uh, love life because we'd like to hear them in the meantime hit like share subscribe those notification buttons because we're out these music still be times i'll count shit for you Anything goes inside tonight, don't cup of corpulent juice. Movies, music, so good times, all kinds of shit for you.